Good morning, modern steaders. 20 degrees out and still snow on the ground. Tomorrow or the next day, they're calling for it to stop warming up until the 60s or 70s. Oh, we're gonna have some melting going on. We'll be able to take Hope out of her sweatshirt finally. We can get that washed up and cleaned for her. Oh, guys, that's gonna be good. Morning, girl. You want to come out? <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Come on out. <laughs> hey, why don't you come on out here with the girls? Come on. This way. You see Figaro over there? Let's get along for now. I guess when I edit this video, I'll see what the girls did with Hope. It seems like everything was good. <sighs> Is that some good water? What do you think, Buttercup? Nah. Like, whatever. There you go. You can have some chaff, hey? I think you goats all did go with each other this morning. We'll be back out in a little while. You coming out, Figaro, or you staying in here? Reading through the comments in the last few videos lately, it sounds like it's pretty common for it to take around two months for goats to accept the new goat. I think Hope's doing really well with the goats. She doesn't seem to be bothered by their bullying, the pecking order, and the girls, they're starting to get better. So a little bit at a time's been working out. This is one of the coldest mornings in a long time. It feels like winter right now. 20 degrees, oh. I'm glad we cleaned the wood stove out yesterday so we could have some good fires going in it last night and this morning. You girls aren't enjoying the chilly morning this morning? It's supposed to warm up today, so hopefully the chickens will come out in a little while. You coming, Pluto? Figaro, you hiding over there, Anna? What do we do? Turn around and go backwards? It's winter again? Oh man, perfect time, and here comes the bus. Have a good day at school. Love you. Watch your feet; he don't trip you. Like one kung fu chicken there, every time. I thought that one chicken was gonna jump out the door like she's been doing lately. I had the camera set up this morning, so of course she's not gonna do it, right, Tanner? Of course. Of course not. Of course not. I'm waiting to get the phone call that the meat bird chicks are here and ready to get picked up. I had to run out to town, run to the chiropractor and get my back put in. Let's call the feed store and see if the chick delivery came in. Good morning, Trex. Yeah, I was wondering if the chicks are in yet to get picked up. 
Well, the meat bird shipment got delayed till next week. That's a good thing. It gives us a little bit more time for the weather to warm up. We need to get back to the homestead. The vet's coming on later today. We're going to be doing our annual CDT vaccines, rabies. And then we're going to have our checkout hope. We'll have our checkout willow and do an ultrasound if we can. And we're also going to draw the blood so we can send our blood work in. And we can do a bunch of tests on the blood work to make sure that our herd is disease free. We like to do all this stuff yearly. Yes. yes. They are one. Okay. 23, I believe. And I don't use them for a lot, but for these little guys for vaccines, they. Good seem girl. To well. Seem to, yeah. Most of the time we're taking those off and. Mm -hmm. So kind of holding her head and neck up. Sometimes if it's up too high and too tight, it's hard to feel the vein. Yep. And she's got pretty good coat right yeah. now. Um, so it's, you hard can to kind find of run it. it with. But your basic landmarks are, this is called the jugular groove is what we're looking for. And the, it should kind of line up with the angle of her mandible, of her okay. jaw there. And then what's called the thoracic inlet down here where all these structures yep. kind of go into her chest. So you're looking along there. So you kind of hold off with one finger. And then you're, you can't really visualize it on her because of her hair, but you can feel. Okay, you can, you know feel, it enough feel so you can feel it. Yeah, and then if you hold off, that should go away. Um, that kind of, and sometimes you can see a wave. She's a little hairy. It's pretty superficial. So I, I had the bevel of the needle up. Yep. And. Gotcha. Definitely. Awesome. Pretty, pretty superficial. Yep. I couldn't, I think it was the angle I was doing it wrong. Okay. Go ahead. Go. That's time to I think it's supposed to be milder this time. Food is great. It is. <laughs> Me too. I had a goat for a time as a kid. She really wanted to live in the house. That was her. You know, she really liked people that much. Yep. These Nigerians are pretty stout, meaning just, just rugged dirty and muscly and <laughs> for the size of them. Yeah, yeah. She's migrating a little bit away from me, so I think I can get there. It was quick and easy. Really low quality forage, and they can have a ton of stuff packed into their rumen, but may not have great nutrition. Yep. So we're kind of assessing their body weight more, kind of up here, ribs too, but along along their spine and pelvis. So, do you want to jump in and? So I would you would expect to see to feel if you can feel the spine sort of very prominently. That usually indicates that they're underweight. Right, right. Kind of getting this yep, really triangular. Like a peak. Yeah. And you, but you can definitely feel the spine. There's no, you're not going down into the spine, which would suggest that she's very overweight. So I would say that this is a good body condition. I think she's for. in good condition. Right. She comes from Phoenix. So when she left, it was like 60 degrees in the morning. Yeah. When she got here, it was like 30 degrees. 30 degrees. <laughs> but she's going to be more comfortable in the. Are goats, are goats sort of like, Cows. I have a vet told me recently she said if you're too cold, it means the cows are happy. <laughs> and is that sort of the same with goats too? That That's they. That's a good question. I think cows really love like forty and fifty. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, I think some of these guys are a little more sensitive to the cold than cattle, but. Um, I know they don't like the weather. Like they won't just stand out in the snow and the <laughs> rain like a cow will. Like a cow just like, yeah, I love this stuff. Where a goat's like, yeah, give me the barn. I've definitely had it start to sprinkle and had goats run for cover. Oh yeah, they goats cannot stand rain. <sighs> My understanding is that when you initially give a vaccine, you get the initial response. But in order to sort of really get a long-term response, you want to sort of offer the immune system another chance to gotcha. respond and build the antibodies. Is that? Yeah, and the other factor would be the maternal antibody, which is, you know, that's a little bit contra. Um, they have passive immunity from their mom. They get through colostrum. And 
and they're still doing research and trying to hammer it out, but there is a time where that protection's not great, but it still will can interfere with your initial vaccine. Yep. So you're trying to kind of like get her immunity up as her immunity from her mom is going down. And trying gotcha. to it's like a transition period yeah. or whatever. And then now there's no point in drawing her blood. Right. So six months. Six months. Yep. Yep. That's very far. Um, what do you think? I think she's good for a little one. I think so too. I would keep a keep an eye on her and the thing I worry about with these little guys is competition from big guys. Mhm. Mm um but it seems like she's got she's been in there. Right. So we let her out with the big guys for a little while. And then we bring her in there for most of the time and she gets her own feed okay. and we've been letting her out more and more the big guys letting them eat with them more and more okay and letting them get used to her she doesn't like being back there all the time but and the other thing that's amazing is their hers aren't bad they're li the little kids and lambs i'm always amazed at how fast their hooves grow so hers were cut right before like right i think three she, weeks ago they cut yep. her hooves before they sent her out i'm gonna go into the classroom and protect her kid so ruminants, actually, if you drew blood from a newborn baby ruminant and tested for antibodies, there'd be zero. There'd be zero. When they're born, which is kind of scary. Um, but it's the colostrum is what provides them with antibodies. Okay. So from, you're saying from like here to here? Yep. So if I'm the angle of her jaw, that'll kind of be a... Okay. Yep. Yep. And then... So down, and then her thoracic inlet is kind of that space there. So that's kind of where you're going to hold off and be looking. So you want to hold off top and bottom? Nope, just just bottom. Just the bottom. Yep. This is the blood that's been in her head and is going back to the heart. So would it be right here that I'm failing? Yep, so right, that kind of bouncy structure right, right there. Okay. And if you're not sure... Yep. You can strum it and look for a wave, or you can take your thumb away and see if it goes away. Okay, which it did. Okay. Because if it's a muscle belly or something right. like that, it's not going to go away. Okay, then it came back. That's right. She's going to be the one that's the hardest <laughs> to, oh, to yeah. restrain. Okay. Okay, and now you slide that up and have to puncture it through yet. <laughs> You to back up just a tiny bit. There you go. It's still coming. You're still holding off, right? There you go. Yep, exactly. So sometimes it's just back up a little bit. Just yeah. And then when you're done, I do so it's it all set. You're yep, it's set. Do you need a full tube? Is it? Nope. It stopped in the middle, I guess. Nope, that's that's the that's oh, as much as you're gonna get okay. in there. Yeah. I just I saw the air pocket in the middle, yeah. so I didn't know what that was all about. Oh, that's actually like material that the clot forms on. Okay. To help separate the serum. This is a serum separator too. Oh, you want some more grain? So I'm looking at the screen and you're holding the probe. Okay. This is kind of cold, Harry. Sit down. See something Did you see the movement? Thing? Yeah. Yeah, I got a little movement too. That's awesome. I think what I was getting was a leg kind of in the... Oh, wow. So can you tell how many there is or no? No, not no. from... Not, no. Too furry? Unless they were kind of like right... Well, earlier you can. You can. You're free, Willow. That worked out nicely that there was a vet student with them from Tufts University. I liked being able to listen to them go back and forth. They were t teaching each other or the vet was teaching the student. So that was awesome. I like to be able to hear that, like the thought pattern and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave as much of that in the video as I can. I learned a ton. They showed me and taught me how to draw Willow's blood. So I feel a lot more confident with that. That went really well. Willow's ultrasound, they got to see some movement and they do know there's babies in there guys. We don't know how many, it's too late in the game to find out 
with the ultrasound how many babies she has so but I'm excited the visit went well they said hope's doing good we should be able to leave her sweatshirt off for her as long as it doesn't get too much colder so later today it's supposed to warm up so we'll take the sweatshirt back off of her I mean, maybe tonight I'll have to put it back on, but I'm excited. Everything's going well. We learned a ton from that visit, and I hope you guys do too. Oh my goodness, Louise, it feels like springtime. Yeah, which it should be. Yeah, it feels nice, huh? Yeah. Hope's calling you. Yeah. I hear her. Oh, you get to rebuild your stream. Give it a kick on the bottom after. Okay. There you go, like a pro. Oh, you're gonna have to. I got it. Hey, it's actually built. It's good. It's strong. Come on out. Come on out. There you go, wait, Willow. Good girl. I know. Oops, like I'll take some goat minerals. Okay. Here we go. Water, watch out, buddy. What are you doing, huh? You silly girls. You're silly. Hope the sun shines out. You might not have seen this since you left Phoenix. Oh. Hope they're leaving you alone this afternoon. I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hopey Dope. You think you need to get in the hay feeder? You think you need to get in there, girl? Hey, Buttercup. Hope you're supposed to stick your head into the hay feeder, not out of it. You silly. Come here, Hope. Let me take this off for a little bit. Put it back on tonight. Look at that. Huh? How's that feel? Holy moly. Holy moly. We haven't seen you without your sweatshirt on, huh? Look at you. That's not true. That's not true. When, she, when we got her, she wasn't, she wasn't in her sweatshirt. Okay. Look at you. Yeah. Hey, do you girls recognize her as a goat now? Look, it looks like styrofoam. I can show it to him? Yeah. And I can see what you made? Oh, Lumna Acres. Cool beans. The girl likes it too. Give me five. Oh, give me five. Give me five. Give me five. No? Good job. Thanks. Hope you want some snow? No. She won't do it now. You didn't want the snow, Hope. Don't mind. Well, I'm surprised you're not coming out. It's beautiful out. You having fun staying inside chewing your cud? Look at you girls in all the grass. Huh? You must love it. I bet you do. Oh, 
Oh, we got some dirty eggs with the mud. They're getting wet feet, coming in the nesting boxes and getting everything dirty. Moose, it looks like the girls have been picking on you, huh? He looks all wet. Yep, you've been running in the puddles there. Tan man, put Pluto go. You coming, girl? You sound like a horse. <sighs> We're really starting to melt some of that snow. It feels good. I can't wait till spring's in full bloom and we can start working on our garden bed. They're starting to show more and more every day. All right, you cage fighting chicken, are you gonna fly out on me? Nope. Yeah, get in. We are rolling in eggs this time of the year. Our friends and family are really loving us. They're getting all the fresh eggs they need. Nice, a fresh chicken. That looks delicious. I love cooking our chickens in the crock pot. It comes off the bone so easy and it's always nice and tender. It just falls off the bones. That's the breast with the tenders. Boom, bada boom, bada bang. Just like that. Mmm, the noodles look delicious reheated. Well, I hope y'all's week is off to a good start. This is a great start for our week. It's so exciting to get confirmation that Willow is pregnant. We were 90% sure she was, but we haven't had any real confirmation done. So we don't know how many babies she has, but we do know she's pregnant. And what they can tell, they all look good. So that is a good thing. We've got about another month before Willow is due. So we got a few things we need to get ready for. But man, I can't wait. We had one of the modern setters leave in the comment last week. Embrace your weird. Normal is setting on a washing machine. I just love that quote. I'm going to embrace that. I think we should all embrace that. Our uniqueness, our weird, makes us who we are. It makes everything so much more entertaining. Oh, I'm going to, I need to get a t-shirt that says that. If you all think we should get some t-shirts made up, leave it in the comments down below. Have a great day, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.